Michael O'Donnell with Purdue Extension. It is June 17th, 2020, and we are visiting Bio Steward Farms today near Roanoke, Indiana. Andy Ambriel is the owner and farmer here at Bio Steward Farms, and today he is running a flame weeder in an organic cornfield. So we want to take a look at what's going on with this flame weeder, how it's set up, what the situation is in the field, what things look like before and after this flame weeding operation. So as you can see, we have a, an AFI flame weeder on this John Deere tractor. It's a 12 row flame weeder. And it's, so it's, it, it burns propane. You can see the two propane tanks on this unit. And the burners, the propane burners are set up and you can adjust these depending on field conditions and, and the, the, the size of the corn. Uh, or whatever crop you're working in. But today with the corn at about V2, V3, and the growing point still mostly under the soil surface, he's got the burner units directly over the row. So going, just burning right off the top. Okay, so he's come through this field with a cultivator and cleaned out between the rows. So we can see between the rows of corn, fairly clean. But within the row of corn, the weeds are coming pretty hard, especially the grasses. So the idea here is that by coming through with the flame weeder, with the burners directly over the row, we burn off the weeds and the corn, hit the reset button. That growing point still being under the soil surface, it's going to be able to push new growth out ahead of the next push of weeds. So we're gonna, we're basically playing that game to try to keep the corn crop at a competitive advantage relative to the weeds. So in this case, things are getting kind of hairy in the row. We flame off the row right over the top, hit the reset button. That growing point of the corn is gonna put on new growth ahead of the weeds, uh, the, the next growth of weeds. Okay, so we can see the heavy weed pressure in the row beforehand and then afterwards we can see how everything's burnt off to a crisp that corn is burnt off the weeds especially those grasses are burnt off these are rows that have not been yet flame weeded haven't been flame weeded yet we can see where the area between the rows is pretty clean from that pass with the Lilliston cultivator And the weeds coming on strong in the row with the corn. We can see a lot of grasses. There's some volunteer buckwheat from some previous cover crops. Some ragweed in this case. So we'll come through with the burners right over this row. Burn everything off, including that corn, and hit the reset button. And then come back in four days or so with the single sweep, high residue type cultivator. Coming between the rows and trying to move some of this dirt into the row and bury what might remain of some of these, these weeds within the row and allow that corn plant to put on new growth from that growing point that's uh, still safe under the soil surface. We are standing in rows where Andy just made a pass with the flame weeder. And I'm not sure if you can tell in this video footage, but this corn has sort of a, a shine to it compared to the corn that has not yet been flamed. So that, that shine seems to tell me that we've got a, a good flaming here. The cell membranes have been burst and we're gonna see that corn and the weeds that look the same way look like this portion of the field that's been flamed previously. Here we are in a pass that was made previously. That was either earlier today or yesterday with the flame weeder. And we can see that this corn is flamed off. The weeds are flamed off. We can see where the middles were already clean from that pass with the Lilliston cultivator. 
but we've hit the reset button on this corn. Almost all the green growth is, is, is gone from this plant, but we're going to see it push out new growth from that growing point. We can see that these grassy weeds and things are pretty well toasted. So I wanted to compare corn plants from where we haven't seen flame weeding. So healthy looking corn plant, good green color. Just five minutes or so after a pass with the flame weeder. Very floppy, flimsy, sort of watery texture of these leaves. We can see some of the, the color change and that, that shine in the leaves. And then a plant that is pretty well toasted sometime after flame weeding. Not sure if this was flamed this morning or here this afternoon or if it was flamed sometime last evening but we can see how that progresses after a pass with the flame weeder.